What's up, fam? Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. It's going down. Salute to everybody in main man, main man's boxing forum on Facebook. You know, I'm a little lost on this whole Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua situation. For this to be one of the supposed biggest fights in history and the biggest fight on UK soil and, you know, all of these articles floating around, you know, this, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. I even see another fake one out there today. I'm just like, bro, for all of this to be so big and huge and important, why the hell is it like no one has no consistent answers on this thing? There ain't no consistent answers, no way you look. I look on Bob Arum, and I'm listening to see him get an interview with Gareth Davis. And in that interview, Bob Arum, they asked him about Singapore because Eddie Hearn ran down running off all of these countries and places that are interested in this fight and when he was specifically asked and Gareth Davis Davies asked Bob Arum about Singapore Bob Arum didn't know what the heck he was talking about he was like Singapore I, I haven't heard that you know I haven't talked to nobody in Singapore maybe Eddie has but I haven't okay cool then they say uh you know the split you know is this gonna be a 50 50 split Gary Davies asked Bob Arum, is this going to be a 50-50 split? Because we all heard the news that this was verbally agreed to between Anthony Joshua and, and uh, Tyson Fury, right? Remember the picture shown around the world of them on vacation or something like that? Well, according to Bob Arum, he's just like, you know, I know my guy. I know what he wants. Um, I don't, I can't speak. I will assume so, is what Bob Arum said. I would assume so. Which means there is no contract. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he's like, uh, uh, Eddie Hearn wouldn't send it over here to us otherwise unless it was 50-50. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Bob is bumbling and bumbling and bumbling. Then today, I'm looking at quotes from an IFL TV interview done with Eddie Hearn. And he's on that interview saying something to the effect of... Uh, they asking him about, you know, is it going to be 50-50? And he's like, I don't know Tyson Fury. I've never talked. I, I don't know Tyson Fury like that. I just, I worry about AJ. I know what AJ is going to do. And I'm just like, has is anyone talking? Not to mention one of the promoters that's involved in this, Frank Warren. Yeah, he may be a minimized promoter in this situation, but he's still involved. He just getting over COVID. He probably don't even know what the heck really going on for real. <sighs> You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, what is the consistent news about this outside of the fact we know that they want to put a fight on? I'm listening to Eddie Hearn, and they're asking for a timeline. They're like, you know, when is these things going to get signed? Eddie Hearn is like four weeks from the time he gave that interview. Four weeks. According to Bob Arum, he feels as though this should happen within three days of Joe Biden being elected. Man, they are all over the place, man. Eddie Hearn is making it crystal clear. I can't put this fight on in the UK. If I do, I'm going to need Wembley or something big like that. Maybe O2, something big. He's looking to throw 100000 though, in Wembley. Which means that he knows if he's going to pass up on the Middle East money, he needs at least 100,000 people in there to make some to, for everyone to make the money that they want to make. If that's not going to happen then it's got to go to the Middle East because they're going to need the gate and they're going to need that site fee. It's just, it's janky, man. It's, it, it, and I, I get it. You know, deals like this, they don't come together overnight and, you know, it takes time. But if they knew that they were trying to get away from Deontay Wilder, they knew this, what, at the end of November-ish, somewhere around there, that they were going to try to pull this move or whatever. If they supposedly knew this, you know, why is it so janky like, you know what I mean? Something ain't right here, fam. It's almost felt like they just killing time, clout chasing each other. You remember AJ tried to do it so bad when uh, Wilder and Fury fought, and they tried to put AJ name in it. I mean, you had Eddie Hearn out here barking daily trying to attach AJ name to that situation. So it just seemed like it's a bunch of talking and a bunch of, you know, just fluff out here. But no rubber is meeting the road. There is no contracts. No one knows when the signed contracts are going to come. No one knows if it's going to be in the UK or the Middle East. No one knows where the bag of money is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Bob Arum ain't seen no contract. He's just talking to Eddie Hearn over the phone. Nothing ain't nothing ain't being printed up. Printed up. Just a bunch of normal trying to normalize in boxing fans boxing fans minds. Oh, AJ and uh, Fury. They just trying their best to normalize it. You know what I'm saying? But yet, not nothing is getting done. It's funny because when Frank Warren came and brought Tyson Fury over here for the first time for the Wilder fight, it was easy peasy, no problem. 
It was like bop, 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 tic-tac-toe, you know what I'm saying? Frank Warren came over here without Bob Arum in the mix, and it all just came together like boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Rematch clauses in there. Nobody trying to get out of this and get out of that. As soon as Bob Arum get involved, they pulling Tyson Fury out of fights. They, 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 you know, it's just a bunch of crap started. All of the stalling starts. You know, it's just... It's just it's just terrible, you know what I'm saying? It, it really is, man. So I don't know what's up with this, man. It's just a bunch of inconsistencies. All we do know is that Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are still fighting it out in their mediation situation. We already know that Bob Arum wants to take the fight overseas to try to get out of the scope of the mediator or the arbitrator, whichever step they're on right now. Everyone is hush-hush about it. They're under gag order, so no one really knows 100 was going on inside of that room all we do know is what was leaked outside of that room and what was leaked outside of that room is bob arum in quote saying he doesn't believe that our arbitrator uh, powers extends to the middle east that's what we do know so that what we do know that their play is going to be at the end of the day fam i'm cool i'm uh, they're giving us drip by drip and it seems like eddie hearn is starting to get a little frustrated by the questions if you look at some of his recent quotes uh, he started to get a little frustrated by, it. you know, people coming to ask them about the money and when is this lining up and when is that lining up and all of this stalling going on. And my deal is, if you want to make this and try to take this all the way back to the crowds, right? Wait and wait, wait it out till you get the crowds. If you if you're going to go that far, you might well just give Wilder his fight. You know what you made at the gate? Seventeen million. Bob Aaron was running around like a, a fat kid in a cake store, telling the world how much that gate made, and he was so happy. You know what I mean? If you know that their fight is popping here in the money market known as America, what are you doing? If you're waiting for a crowd, you might well just wait for the crowd for Deontay Wilder. ESPN will fare off better. Top Rank will fare off better. And the fighters will finish their trilogy and finish their war. It just makes sense, man. That anthony joshua go face Alexander Usyk in the meantime between time and then we pick up where we left off from this situation you know what i'm saying that's the way things should go man but these dudes they just trying to force a triangle through a circle nothing ain't making sense no rubbers meet in the road it's all talk fake news fake articles um nothing ain't happening now will they get out of it i don't know you know what i'm saying I don't think that's the route they really want to go. I think there's some, there's a lot of stalling here, and they're just working on an option A or option B. Whichever one seems to be the most lucrative at the time everything goes off. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think is going on. And as you know, like I said, from boxing promoter standpoint, it's actually not a smart. It's not. It's, it's actually a smart idea to always have a plan A and a plan B. Well, if this fight ain't working out for whatever reasons, I'll go to this fight. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. Uh, no one has yet to say or no one has yet to prove that they are being able to get away from Deontay Wilder and, and the fight that he bringing right now. No one has been able to prove that. Just a bunch of crap, fake articles. You know what I'm saying? Real spill. So let's see, man. No rubber ain't meeting the road. And here we are another week. These two promoters are not on the same page. They're giving different answers. They're on opposite sides of the water. They're piecing this together as they go. You know what I'm saying? Which means they're trying their best. I mean, they're, they're, they're piecing this together as they go. The whole time, they may put this whole thing together and it still doesn't take off. You just don't know. We'll wait and see. But something ain't adding up. To the next video. Much love to the family. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.